to go bow for the result though Hard to discuss oh, cause I'm taking my body Fall down, down, turn me down though I'm a me, I be a down though And you can feel the drop So yeah, I'm here with another video for you guys today As you can see, I'm just rocking my natural hair Yes, from you can see from the title uh, Yeah, I'm back with one of these videos I feel so good to be doing this again <laughs> So good so from what you can see from the title today i'm gonna to be giving you guys one of my no foundation look if you guys have been following me for a very long time <clears throat> you know that when i first started out with makeup videos here on youtube i literally never ever ever wear any foundation at all right um so but since recent times for a while i've been working with foundation and um, you know cl the clean girl makeup the minimalistic makeup is definitely in I mean it's nice flawless you know less is more and you know it's less hassle if you're a busy person and you still want to look flawless with your makeup and stuff you know this kind of routine will work for you so that's what we're gonna focus on today I will also tap into my eye look just a little bit because I feel like for my last couple videos that I kind of tapped into makeup a little bit I feel like all of those were soft glam and I know you guys probably I don't want to be too repetitive with the same look so that's that's how today's video is going to go so let's go ahead and get started also I know how much you guys prefer you know talk throughs and like in-depth step-by-step you know videos slash tutorial so I'm gonna be talking through this for you guys so my skin is already cleansed right what you can start off by doing before doing anything at all you can go in and moisturize your face now this isn't a step that I usually used to stress on enough in my previous in my previous makeup tutorials but <laughs> I've incorporated it so much into my own routine now so for today's what I've been using and if you guys watch my soft glam get ready with me you would have seen these products I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream okay this is an instant turnaround moisturizer um, and it's, it just it leaves my makeup looking so flawless once I'm done with that I'll get my fan which my fan has become so important in my makeup application routine and I kind of just you know I just kind of set that in I wanted to really just sit down into the skin before I move on and I realized how important this portion can be because it helps them when it's like a little bit like more settled into the skin that eliminates like creasing and stuff like that and as you guys can see as usual I'm wearing fusion lashes as I recommend as I told you guys before um, you know this also helps with saving time on my day-to-day -day makeup routine i don't wear makeup every day at all <laughs> at all i honestly couldn't be bothered with that and number one thing to have the most flawless makeup is just great skin that's the number one tip to having awesome make makeup you know take better care of your skin and the better your makeup will look the next step is going in with my milk hydro grip primer and this has been amazing those are the first things that I do just prep the skin once I apply my primer I also go back in with my fan because I love when the primer actually gets a little tacky and I can tell you so far I can give you I can give you guys an honest review and tell you that I absolutely love this primer because it helps when you apply your makeup to erase any fine lines, any wrinkles, any part. Like for me personally, you guys know I always have like, I, I think I've expressed this in the past where I'll experience a lot of creasing with my smile lines here, right here. You see that? So like after wearing my makeup for a long time, if I don't do like a primer, I get like creasing there, like deep creasing. But I've realized that with the Hydro Grip, it doesn't completely like 100% eliminate it. But I'll say like a good 89% of it is eliminated. So the creasing is very minimal. It's, it has properties in there that 
they're actually good for the skin so it's like even though it's makeup it's like skincare at the same time so I love that and since I already have brows that are microbladed all I need to do is sharpen it up and use my concealer so I'm going to actually use my fan and I just always love sticking with my LA girl pro concealer I have so many other concealers you guys know this but I stick with my LA girl pro concealer I use this in fun there are other times that I feel like I'm gonna go dramatic and I'll use my actual concealer that I use to highlight my face and um, to clean up my brows but I want to keep it more like on the minimalistic side so I'm just gonna use fun when I'm doing my foundation I would use my foundation on top here so I have a more skin like um, sharpness up top like I don't want to highlight on top of the brows I just don't that's just not how I do it anymore because it gives more of a halo effect and I don't like that so what I'll do is I take my foundation to clean up the top but I'm not gonna do that today because I'm not doing a phone I'm not incorporating foundation in this look whatsoever so I totally believe to have even more of a natural look once your brows are nicely shaped and everything you don't need to even apply any product on top of that to like specifically clean it up I'm gonna get to the eyes and then we can tap to the face so I I'm not gonna do anything too complex but you know just some nice you know fall like colors this I look I have Nomad by Juvia's. These are the shades inside. These shades don't have like names and stuff, but um, right off the bat, I see four colors that I just wanna focus on using in this palette. I wanna use these two down here, and I also want to incorporate this and this yellow. So this is more of like an orangey, this give me that pumpkin spice kind of vibe and then that yellow is just really nice and these really dark colors down below to kind of just, you know, give the, the eye look that depth. So I'm actually going to start off in the crease with this orangey like rustic color and just apply a little bit more concealer. So I'm giving you like a nice fall eye look. So I'm gonna apply that orange to the crease and since I have on fusion, what I usually do is I'll just hold down the lashes so I don't mess them up too much sometimes and if I, if shadow do fall out on them, I'll just kind of brush it off with the spoolie. The next shade I want to go ahead and apply is this like olivey green here, right? So I'm gonna go in with this and give it more of like a tighter blown out vibe into the crease of my eyes. So I won't make it as blown out like I did with the rustic orange. And this is really pretty. It's not as dark though once I apply it. Like it, it's not as dark as it <laughs> looks in the palette once I apply it to my lid. And a pat, a pat in combination with you know back and forth motion, you know, windshield wiper motion. This feels just like <laughs> you know my previous makeup tutorials that I used to do. <laughs> Same windshield wiper motion, you guys know I always say that all the time. I go in with this dark, dark brown from the palette, and that's what I'm going to be applying directly into the crease. So, so far, working with these shadows, what I can say is I wish they were a little bit more pigmented. They're really nice shades. And usually, these palettes from Juvia's are really nice. I just feel like you have to like apply a little bit more effort with using them. Um, yeah, it's like... I don't know if you guys can tell, I have to be doing like a lot of blending, like a lot, lot more than an average palette to kind of get these um, colors to really pop and show the way I want them to, right? I also have another palette here that I'm wondering if I want to use it, but I feel like, yeah. So I feel like I'm actually going to go into my Amorizi Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm going to take the shade BK and that's a black eyeshadow because I feel I feel like I wanted that brown to be a little darker 
So I'm just going to literally press this in to the crease. For my lid, I actually want to go in with the yellow here. And it has a little bit of like glitter, but it's not heavy. It's really just really light. And I feel like I might go in with the olive green on the outer end of the concealer that I'm about to apply. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna apply that and blend it out. It's not really a full on definite, definite cut crease because you can see the brush I'm using, it's not even a crease brush. I'm just literally blowing out the concealer that I applied. And I'm patting it, not swiping it. Because this is like, even though it has glitter in there, it's still a matte shade. So you don't want to swipe a matte shade. You have to pat it. And then I'm going to go in on the end part with the olive green. So I'm just gonna tap that in. What well, I can say, the green, it's beautiful in the palette, but it doesn't blend well. So I feel like only because I started to use it already, I have to follow through, but yeah, the green doesn't have like a, a great pigmentation. So I'm gonna go in over that with the black, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it doesn't have great pigmentation at all. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm done with the eyes. It's giving fall. It's giving a little bit of color still, but it's giving, you know, deeper tones. And I know that it's been a while since I've played played around with my eye makeup. So yeah. Um. So you guys know we already prime, we already moisturized, all that good stuff. So. No, I literally just don't do the whole foundation step. I literally move on to highlighting as I was telling you guys before. And with this, it's just less makeup on your skin. You feel way lighter. You know, you know, sometimes you put on makeup and you're like, oh, I can't wait for take it off. Your face, your skin feels heavy. It feels like you cannot breathe. With this method, you actually feel like your skin is still breathing, you know? So that's really good. So for my concealer that I'm using today, it's actually the um, Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the shade Sand. Um, it's on the thicker side, so you might not want to use too much. For me personally, I usually just do the inner portion of the eye here because when I go in to blend it out anyway, it's going to spread. So... This is just how I do it. I don't like spread it out and do too much, no, because I don't want to have too much product in the area. So as I say, if you want to go lighter with this, you can. So feel free to go ahead and do that. So as soon as I apply the concealer to each area, I blend it out. And this is just how I do my makeup. Everybody has different ways of doing their application. This is just what I feel most comfortable with doing. I add the tiniest bit here, like I'm a curious boy my chin. I don't like a lot too much. But this is the powder I'm actually gonna go in with to set those areas real quick. And before you set it, you want to ensure nowhere is creasing, so you go back. On those areas, guys, just trust the process. I know I look crazy. You apply a little powder and build that up at a time. Okay. 
this will do this is my old time oldie but goodie my milani um press powder in warm 109 so this is what i literally just apply to the rest of the face and this is what will calm down that lightness but the fact that i'm using a powder here a pressed powder instead of the foundation and this is just a regular pressed powder by the way a regular pressed powder the fact that i'm using this it feels way lighter than using the liquid and then going in on top of the liquid to set it you know you kind of want to overlap the area that you set with the highlight powder with the banana powder because that way you don't have any harsh lines and you know it doesn't look like super light kind of just blend everything in so it calms it down and it's just it's looking flawless just the same as if foundation was used and I'm telling you it's prepping your skin with a good moisturizer and primer can really help I'm just gonna go on the sides of my nose just you know I never skip this step I don't really contour much anymore and I believe I told you guys this already but I never really like skip this step off still contouring my nose and I always connect it from the beginning of my brow and work my way down to the tip and I really have a light hand. Don't press on it too hard. You don't want to remove any work that you already did. So just use a very light hand and bring it in as narrow as you wish. And that can give an illusion of a slimmer nose as you guys know. So that's just a little catch powder I apply because what I want to do is go back on to the lower portion of my eye and create some depth with the eyeshadow that I used earlier on. So I get a smaller brush, I go back into my Juvia's palette and I'm actually going to do this shade here and see how it looks. So see how it looks with that fur. And the reason why I apply the catch powder, I don't want any of this to fall out on my makeup. Like, And this just really, oh, this is just giving that really nice pumpkin spice vibe. I'm really I haven't been doing liner a lot lately like on my lower waterline so I'm really contemplating if I should do some liner today and then I'm gonna deepen that with the same browns that actually looks really good as is I don't think I really need to go in with the black but I'm gonna tighten it even more with the black liner you guys know i've been using this for a couple years well my maybelline eye studio um gel liner and this is in blackest black and that is giving a nice deep seductive blown out eye look i love this guys you take me out my comfort zone all over again this is so nice it's been a long time since i've done eye makeup looking like this you guys know so i'm gonna just brush away and i don't need to apply any lashes because you know my fusions are already done so what i want to do is warm up the cheek area a little bit more and nobody can tell me something to apply foundation like you would never know right you would literally think with such a glammed makeup look that i'm wearing foundation right but I'm not so I'm gonna apply a little bit of illuminator but before I do that I kind of want to want to set down everything um, so it's looking less powdery uh, so I'm gonna go in with my uh, Morphe continuous um, setting mist and I've been loving this I use this usually before I like complete my entire face and you'll see what I mean. So I'm gonna go in with this and then I'm gonna use my and then I'm gonna use my fan to accelerate the drying process. So just close your eyes. So you see it's looking way more settled. And all I'm gonna do is apply a little bit of illuminator. I use my I keep on getting more of these 
from Il Maquillage. I love this highlighter and I've just stuck with it. So I'd like you guys to go ahead and comment down below with some of your favorite highlighters or illuminators rather that you love using um, to just give your face that extra glow. Um, for the people that use it, um, I don't always use illuminator these days anymore, you know. <laughs> things have changed up so much but today i feel like for this look i want to incorporate some of that um so yeah you can drop some of your favorite products down below let me know and i can try them out um so i'm just gonna apply a little bit of this onto my cheeks and if you notice i didn't tap it in with my sponge usually i would do that but i kind of just started to use my fan it's a little quicker and it dries on so nice and this is a next step that really helps to set the makeup in so nicely so I'll just apply a little bit on my the top of my cheekbone here and yeah that's gonna be just enough and I do the same thing I didn't even go back into the, the pot to pick up any more product you really could just skip this step if you want uh, can you believe it? Things have changed so much. And just a little bit right here. And if you want, you could like just whatever is remaining in the brush, you could just tap it up here. It give you a nice glow, a nice little glow to the skin. The way with Fusion, I do not apply mascara because I really want them to last. That's you don't apply mascara to your Fusion. Don't do that. So I won't be applying any mascara. I feel like my lashes are popping. Um, regardless, it doesn't need that. So now for my lips, what I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is just you can take any brown liner that you wish. I just want a nice, nice um, glossed. You guys know this is my number one lip combo. I just do like a nice brown liner with a nude filling on the inside and gloss. That's what I love doing. I'm just using my regular Air Woman pencil for this and I'm using my Il Maquillage. I've showed you guys this in a previous Get Ready With Me or in a Get Ready With Me because this is not really a Get Ready With Me. I'm just showing you guys a no makeup foundation look. But yeah, my Il Maquillage Lip Service Guilt Trip. Nude with a little, a hint of glitter, not a lot. I'm gonna go over top of that with this gloss. This gloss, I see, it has been so roasted on TikTok. <laughs> Listen, to each his own. If you don't like this gloss, get another gloss. I have so many glosses, but I love this. I really do have so many glosses, but I don't. This is so long lasting. I love a really nice, thick, long lasting gloss. And whenever I wear this, I get so much compliments. I get so much questions. And then I know for some people that they're probably gonna be like, mm, that. But I know a lot of people don't like when their gloss is too thick, when it's too sticky. This is very thick, it's very sticky. So if you don't like that, don't use it. I see them roasting it on TikTok saying that it's like glue on the lips. <laughs> Whenever I wear this, I love it. It's a very cheap gloss, by the way. Very inexpensive. I get this at, from the pharmacy. It's 105 Jamaican dollars plus tax. JMD. Okay, so maybe this is probably... This is less than a dollar USD. Super, super cheap. So... Yeah, that's what I use on my lips. Most days when I'm doing, like, when I don't, I'm not wearing any makeup. I have on my lip um, mask, like my lip conditioning mask. And then I put a little bit of this over it. Oh gosh, love it. Love it. Love it. But anyways, I'm going to do my lips. I almost forgot one of the most important part because I already I literally went ahead and did my lip and I didn't do this part but I'm gonna go ahead and do my final set and I again I showed this in my updated soft glam so if you want to see a soft glam um, look it will be listed in my description box it's very recent it's when I first tried out all these products 
and it's just really light very neutral more on the natural side if that's what you're going for yeah all right so for my setting spray i'm using the until dawn setting spray this is a mattifying waterproof setting spray I've worn this i haven't bro broken away from this uh these set of products from the very first day I've, i bought them and i have so many different options i'm loving them if you're looking for a good mattifying setting spray that's not too it's, it has a scent but it's not like super overpowering something that won't make your face feel extremely stiff this is really good and it's very lasting it dries down almost immediately watch this And I didn't use my fan I didn't use my fan no this give a vibe I don't know if you hear it, it sounds like hairspray it smells like hairspray that's exactly the vibe though even the bottle feels like a hairspray guys I'm so sorry for the noise in the background it's literally rain it's coming down so hard but guys that's it for today's makeup look <laughs> so I'm just mixing things up you know I just decided that for today's video, I'm gonna give you guys a good old makeup look. Um, I, you know, I've been mixing it up a lot since recently, and I'm so grateful for all the support that you guys have been showing me. It means a lot. It, like, it means a lot. I know that I, I've, I've broken away from this for a long time, but I'm back. I'm so happy. That you guys you know decided to tune into today's video i hope you found this very informative and yes i did go ahead and change my top <laughs> i definitely felt like you know it definitely fit that you know you know fall vibe um so yeah i hope you guys found this video informative it feels so good to do one of these again like a very in-depth makeup tutorial let me know what you guys think I, you work with me i work with you so you guys just continue leaving your um, suggestions down below as usual because i'm always taking notes i see where you guys uh, have suggested just a few suggested like cooking um content but i do have a vlog channel as you guys know it's here on the screen so go ahead and follow that and that's usually that's usually where i'll incorporate like food content like you know if i'm cooking you know it's more like informal and i prefer that kind of vibe i'm not like i'm not a cook by profession but i actually when i'm in the mood i love cooking when i'm in the mood you know and if you know me if you follow up with me over there you know how much we not just me me and my family would love food we are foodies <laughs> so yeah so that's where you can catch me when i decide to you know whip up something in the kitchen or my mom you know because my mom she's she, she she yeah she's the real og when it comes to cooking so yeah if you want cooking content that's where you can find that you know i'll mix it into that content into my lifestyle content um in terms of fashion and all the other stuff yes definitely drop them down below in the suggestions and let me know what you guys would love love for me to see i know i told you guys that i'm coming with the skin routine i i am okay i am but i fully want to just give you guys a well-rounded routine like that i'm sticking to right now and there's a couple things there's just a few not a lot that i'm not a hundred percent sure on that i'm currently using which i might switch out but for the most part i'm very confident with what i've been using and i just want you guys to stick around for that updated skincare routine so yeah that's it for today um i try my best to be as detailed as possible with this um look thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified each and every time i do upload over here and um, share this video like this video and yeah that's it also stay tuned for my upcoming hair looks because you guys know i'm always changing up my hair and my wig, you guys know I love a good wig because I do show you guys quite a bit of that over here. Um, so just stay tuned for that because I have a lot more of that coming. So yeah, that's it. I'm done with my chattering and I'll see you guys in my next video.